Could this be the holiday season where Mattel, the iconic toy maker, finally turns itself around? For years, the company behind Barbie, Fisher Price, American Girl Dolls, Hot Wheels, woo, and lots of other owned and licensed brands has struggled. Mattel's going through a rotating cast of CEOs for as many years. They've had to cope with the uh, bankruptcy and liquidation of Toys R Us, monster for everybody. And earlier this year, they had an accounting investigation. But under the leadership of its current CEO, Enon Cross, the company seems like it's gotten its act together. The accounting issue is behind them. The fallout from Toys R Us has been put to bed. And at the end of October, Mattel reported an excellent quarter. So it's the comeback for real. Let's check in with Enon. He is the chairman and CEO of Mattel. Learn more about his company's doing and where it's headed. Mr. Cross, welcome to Mad Money. Thank you. Now, I want everyone to know this. This man told me that there would be a series of things that would happen. They'd put an accounting scandal behind them. They would cut costs rather dramatically. They would start intele- using intellectual property. They would be able to make it so that they had no problems with the tariffs. Everything you said happened. How come? Well, when I joined 18 months ago, I saw an opportunity to transform Mattel into an IP-driven, high-performing toy company. Intellectual property, right. And we put together a strategy that had two phases. In the short to mid-term, it was about restoring profitability and drive top-line growth. Mm -hmm. And in the mid to long term, it was about capturing value from our IP. And we've been executing exactly as planned. In terms of restoring profitability, for five quarters in a row, we improved reported operating income, EBITDA, earning per share, and gross margin. Five quarters in a row, each of these metrics. We are now on on pace to reduce our cost base by more than $854 million, run rate savings, exit in 2019. We're putting together a capital light strategy to dramatically reduce- You still own a lot of factories. You guys were a giant steel mill of toys, right? (laughs) That's over. You still own some plants, though? It is. We do own plants. We are in the process of reducing our manufacturing footprint. We already took out one, uh, reduced, uh, consolidated one plant in Mexico. More coming. We announced that we are reducing, uh, uh, achieving uh, cost efficiencies of $50 million starting 2020 uh, into 2021 and beyond. Fix that balance sheet, no short-term real issues. Now you do something else. You're from the entertainment background. You took an iconic but kind of like, you know, languishing doll, Barbie, 12% double-digit increase? How? Well, Barbie is doing great. We actually had now eight consecutive quarters of growth, seven of which have been double-digit. This is a phenomenal performance driven really by our ability to make Barbie part of pop culture, current and contemporary with, with today's demand. Look at these beautiful dolls. Um, this is part of uh, a co- pretty uh, complicated line of a lot of innovation, a lot of new product. This is the Barbie uh, Fashionista, which is the number one representative of, of diversity and inclusion. Here you're looking at Barbie in, in, um, in, on a wheelchair right. and Judge Barbie, which is part of the I Can Be line, which is really a way of, of us representing more than 200 careers for Barbie and empowering girls to do anything they want to be. In the meantime, you, you're, you know, the entertainment business. You, you got some movies lined up, movies that a lot of people might see in the way we used to think about uh, Toy Story, so to speak. That's right. We have announced eight movie projects with some of the biggest and most um, successful filmmakers of today. We have two movies in, in, with Warner Brothers in partnership with Warner Brothers, two with MGM, with Sony, with Paramount, with Jason Blum. People like Tom Hanks Kedua. that I would not normally associate with. Mattel. That's right. So Tom Hanks uh, is in partnership with us for a great project together, w- uh, together with Paramount and Akiva Goldsman for Major Matt Mason. The Barbie project is also one that is going to be really exciting in partnership with Warner Brothers. Margot Robbie as the lead actor. Uh, Greta Gerwig and Noah Baumbach mm-hmm. as our creative partners, writers, directors. And it's going to be great. This is because your background, which is not just traditional toy. That's right. I I have a strong background in content and IP, and this is really the opportunity that I saw more in the mid to long term in terms of commercializing our brands and finding transformative opportunities for us to be part of other verticals that are directly adjacent to the toy industry. Think film, television, live events, consumer product and merchandise, games, music, all of which represent tremendous opportunity for a company like Mattel that owns such a strong collection of colossal, generational, global brands that have so much resonance and appeal. All right, toys, uh, traditionally 85% in the industry made in, in China. You're about two-thirds. Uh, that is considered to be good. But isn't the truth that that's still a lot when we have new tariffs coming and it's going to hurt your profitability? Well, we are in a better position than the industry average, given our product mix. But we are 
obviously monitoring and looking closely at the situation regarding tariff. Our job is to develop and design an, an organization that is flexible, that can respond to market changes. And, and this fast, is exactly like what Baby Yoda doing. is not, I mean, the old Mattel, Baby Yoda would probably come out what, right? you know, like when a sequel comes out or something? Yeah, Baby Yoda is a great phenomena. It happened fast, right. and we were able to move really quickly and with great design and supply chain capabilities, are able to now put the product on shelves April 1st. It's already available for sale, and we're very happy to be part of, uh, be part of that phenomena. Infant, toddler, and preschoolers, what I knew Motel as, they are not doing well. What are you going to do? Well, Fisher Price is the number one, number one infant preschool property in the industry, and that category is the number one uh, in, in, the toy, in the toy sector. Okay. So we're still a market leader. We are taking all the relevant actions that you need, uh, you think about in terms of product innovation, design, a marketing campaign that is uh, addressing uh, parents and millennial parents, and already are seeing uh, a change of trend. Fisher Price core, which is by far the lion's share of the category, was down 1% in the last mm -hmm. quarter. And we're seeing momentum with the new product, a new marketing campaign that we're put, putting together. Okay, previous company, a maker, you uh, sold, made a fortune, sold to Disney. Is the goal to turn it around and flip it? We're building a great company. We're leveraging the capabilities we have, the assets that we own, the market standing that we have, reaching over 375,000 doors globally, working with all the major retailers all over the world. And you're seeing now a trend. In addition to five quarters of improving profitability, we now had three quarters of, re, of, uh, re, of regaining top line growth in constant currency and two as reported. We haven't done that in, since 2013. So you're seeing strong momentum on, 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 on profitability, momentum in top line, and more will come. All right. Sounds like you're staying and the turn is real. <laughs> Okay, that's Sinan Christ, the chairman and CEO of Mattel. Remember what I said? He said all these things were going to happen. I waited. They've happened. Bad Money's back after the break. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.